Hello, my name is Hannah. Today we are building a colonial house in Willow Creek and this house really reminds me of the 70s house that I made like probably over a year ago at this point. That's a that's kind of strange. I don't know how long ago it was but it feels like a very long time ago and also not that long ago at the same time. But it reminds me of that house. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm fairly positive though it's because it's brown. Like entirely brown. Like very brown and just brick. Um, I'm fairly positive that's the reason, but like not not totally sure, but that seems like a pr pretty good idea of why I think it looks like that house, but I thought that it just made sense that this was like an old colonial house because like there are some like new colonial houses like near me and they're um, kind of ugly, just gonna, sorry to the people that own those houses, they're kind of ugly, um, but they're like bright pink and like bright blue and I'm just like that's just weird but like I feel like this one is like an older one that's been like renovated on the inside the outside probably has also been renovated but it looks older I don't also because it is brown I think I just associate the color brown with old which I guess makes some sense but is also kind of just strange at the same time also mind the fact that I was trying to make it red or um, lavender at one point it, it moves past that one pretty quickly but I was just trying to make it look cool and then I ended up with brown and I was like this kind of looks pretty cool and then also I got to use these columns that I really like but I can't like put like big fancy columns on like a normal house because that would just like be strange. So I use them on my colonial houses like every single one of them because I like them but I just don't have the chances to use them very often but I really like them. And so I also put this weird like roof thing in the front like above the like sticky outy window I don't know that that is where I'm talking about that roof piece I thought that would look it looked good on the house it doesn't serve like any purpose whatsoever but it looks good I feel like it just gives more dimension to the fact that the house is flat like like really flat because like colonial houses are a box with a potential bump out on a side or usually well usually it's both but some of these sims lots are kind of small so I can't really put it on both sides but you know, we'll just pretend that it's symmetrical like most colonial houses are supposed to be, but that's okay. But I felt that that roof piece was kind of necessary because it makes it look better. Um, the back was not going to be symmetrical just because I think it's just going to be weird, but then I made it symmetrical because I feel like it, it needs to be symmetrical because, well, as symmetrical as this house is going to get other than the fact that there's a bump out on one side, but I was, made, I was trying. And so I gave it this, like, most of the way circular um, porch. It's um, kind of cool looking. It kind of looks fancy. Um, it's kind of probably going to be really inconvenient to go on that porch after it rained, but you know, that's okay. This is The Sims. Um, you, you, it doesn't matter if you can slip and fall off your pal balcony, but that's okay. In real life, I feel like that's pretty like a low chance to do that too, but that's just like all my mind was like, it can be slippery and you just like go right off. But I feel like that's like any balcony. I think I just don't like balconies. So, you know, that's a me thing. But the inside, the floor plan was actually pretty easy for being um, a square with two squares on the outside of it. And so I really like that it was pretty easy. I think it has like four-ish bedrooms somewhere around there. I don't actually know how many bedrooms. I think it's four though. It's, it's around that number though. Like three to five, somewhere in that range. Um, but I thought that it fit pretty well. Um, the entryway is also, it's like the staircase room, the entryway, and then also the dining area. It's a little bit strange, but you walk straight into the dining room, which I don't think is that odd. Like, I know a couple people's houses that they walk just, like, right into the dining room. I feel like that's a pretty good, like, place to put your dining table. But, like, this house, it's just, like, you know, there's a dining table also in the entryway, kind of feels like. Not your- the entryway is also the dining table. Like, the dining table j just has a door into it, so I don't know. But it's just a little odd, and so... Um, I thought it looked cool though. The upstairs was a little bit more difficult just because I wanted more than two ba or bedrooms up there that I also didn't want a ridiculous amount of bathrooms because when there's the staircases in the middle it just kind of ends with like some weird stuff and so I was trying to make it not like eight bathrooms and so I think I did that but then I just the bedrooms are kind of strange but they're kind of big also so you know I thought that was fine um, but that's that's about it for the house so we're now gonna the first thing I was thinking um, I don't talk about like the past very often mostly because the future is uh, much more interesting um, I did talk about like what happened in my life like years ago for like the first like 
eight months, maybe even like a year of my voiceovers, but I just wanted to do this one thing. I promise I won't go back to telling stories. I think I fully ran out of childhood stories, but I was just thinking, I was, um, I think I was putting on socks. I don't really remember, but I was putting on socks. This is related to what I was going to, I'm going to tell you, but I was thinking about it. So I, I talked about this once, but I was in a boot, um, for 12, 10 weeks. And then like, I was out of cheer for 12 weeks. And so I had this boot on for a very long time. And so when I finally got it off, um, it was like kind of weird to walk on it and all that stuff. But I went into cheer for the first time without my boot on. And so my coach comes up to me and she like, was like, oh, you got your boot off. You know, the normal things you'd say when you get your boot off kind of thing. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Congratulations, kind of stuff like that. And then the next thing she said was, you need to get your calves to be the same size again. Like, I don't know if that's exactly what she said, but like something like almost exactly like that. And then she was like, you should do some of like calf raises like for the next couple weeks, just like do some reps of those. And I'm just like, this is the second thing you've said. It's been maybe a minute since I walked in here and you're already talking about fixing my legs. Like, I don't, I, I don't really know how off my calves are, because I didn't try. Like, I wasn't going to give it to her that she was just complaining about how I looked, which is probably just a me thing. But I was just like, you ju I just walked in here. I just got my boot off. I can barely walk. And she was like, do some calf raises. And I was just like, so like, confused. Because like, one, I thought she was um, like, kind of normal. But, like, this was just, it kind of just threw it off for me. I was like, um, okay. And so I talked to, like, other people about that, and they were like, that's, that's kind of weird. And I was just like, yeah, that's just odd. And so I did calf raises once, and then, um, told her I was doing calf raises. And then she just kind of shut up about it after, like, four weeks, because she asked, like, twice if I had been doing my calf raises. I was like, why do you care this much? Like, I don't, I don't know how, like, if my calves were even different sizes because I just didn't put much thought into it because I was like, no, that's odd. What are you doing? Like, I was learning how to re-walk at that point because, like, I could barely walk straight because I was, like, rolling one of my feet because, you know, I kind of uh, didn't do the correct thing when you're in a boot and I kind of just altered my walking style, which is a bad thing, but you still have to fix that once you're done. So I was trying to teach myself how to walk normally, <laughs> so, which is an odd concept at, you know, what? 13 or whatever age I was just to relearn how to put your foot down normally but that's what I was doing at the time she was just like you should do some calf raises I was like it was so odd but that's just what I was saying I, I remembered it the other day and I was just like that was so odd and like I don't have that issue it was I don't I don't think I ever had that issue but it was just so strange I was just like what are you doing woman just like leave me alone like you're like 30 and I'm like 13 and you're commenting on the size of my calf after I just got my boot off. Like, what are you doing? It was just odd. Um, but th that's, that's about it. So I'm going to move on to the next thing so that we don't keep talking about that. But the other thing is I got my booster um, yesterday, yesterday morning, and um, I feel exhausted. I'm not exactly sure if that's because it's the weekend or because of my booster, but I immediately felt so much more tired after I got that. Um, it was fine. Other than that, I was just really, like, weak after it, which happened me to, to me after, like, the second, uh, co uh, COVID vaccine, the second one. I don't know what words, but that happened to me on the second one, so I was just, like, expecting that, and so it was fine. Other than that, other than that, I can also not raise my arm very high, which is pretty normal. I just can't move my arm after any sort of vaccine, which is, um, you know, really fun, but I get it in my left arm, like, if I get a choice in which arm, I put it in my left, because I do do a lot of things with my right arm, but you, you, I don't think about how much I do also use my left arm until I am trying to move and grab a cup, and I can't grab it because my arm doesn't want to go up, or because it hurts so badly, it's really awkward, but I'm feeling okay, other than I have a headache, but that also could be because I didn't get out of my bed until 9.30 that day, um, and usually that gives me a headache, but I also don't know. I just didn't want to get out of bed this morning because I was so tired, but I've been, I slept more, so I'm not really sure, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> totally worth it. Um, the COVID cases are growing up in my, in my school district, which is really, really fun. Um, and so, um, we'll see, but, um, 
that's really fun. And so after this, I'm probably going to go take a nap because I am just really tired. So I'm just going to just two voiceovers and done, just go take a nap because it's really tiring and talking is already tiring. So I'm just going to, you know, get that done with and, you know, go sleep, I guess. Um, but it's been pretty fun. It snowed the other day and I'm pretty happy about that because this is the second snow. I'm fairly positive unless I can't count, which also might be true, but um, second snow, and so I'm really excited about having snow, and it is kind of cold, which, you know, makes sense, but it's, like, very chilly, like, it's usually not, like, this cold when it, there's snow out. You usually get one or the other. You, you either get snow or cold weather, which is kind of odd, but it, it just happens like that usually, so I don't know, but it's, it's fun, and I really like the snow, but uh, that's about it, so I'm going to end the voiceover right here. It is almost screenshots time. But subscribe if you did like today's video or if you want to see more like this. But it is almost screenshots time. So I post a new video four times a week so you can watch another video next time. Bye.